All right, good morning. It's Monday, I'm tired, and I you can see it in my eyes. Um, so sorry about that, y'all, but you know, Mondays, we all struggle, to be fair, don't we? So I wanted to make a little video. Again, I'll introduce myself for those of you who don't know me. My name is Lizzie Hodcroft, and I am the founder of a company called The Sweet Beat. We're based here in the Northeast, Newcastle upon Tyne, uh, where, believe it or not, I've resided for the past 11 years. And yes, my dad is a Geordie. He was born in General Hospital before it was closed down to make way for a Tesco that never built. Um, so I've been coming across to this part of the world, um, spending all my summers and every other winter over here in the UK. Very fortunate with that have to admit, when I was little, didn't really appreciate it as much, but part of the reason for that is because, you know, I was missing out on summer with my friends, basically, um, and that was a bit disappointing when I was growing up, but now I see it as uh, quite the opportunity, to be honest. So the Sweet Beat, what are we? Who are we? What do we do? Why do you care? Well, the Sweet Beat is basically a company that designs, creates, and then supplies alternative condiments into the retail sector. We've got really awesome things like our strawberry chipotle barbecue sauce right here. Our best seller by far is probably our maple bacon jam and also our award-winning habanero lime jelly. Now, the thing that makes us different than just another producer with more products that, by the way, taste flippin' amazing, is the fact that it's all about creating a world where confidence is created through discovery. We just happen to do that with food. But basically, it's really just about getting people to enjoy the process. The fun is in the trying, the tasting, the testing, the working out what works for you. And we're not food snobs. Yes, we have recipes, and yes, it's all about the number of different ways and variety of ways that you can use our products. But really, we want you to get stuck in. Half of it is the fun that we make through the experience of just getting people together and enjoying food. And some damn good food at that, might I add. So feel free to check out our website. It's thesweetbeat.co.uk. Can't really mess that up. Um, and basically, check it out. Have a look at some of our blog posts, some of our offers. We are doing a July 4th month. That's right. Basically, we decided because in Texas right now, it's so dry, 4th of July, weren't allowed to set off fireworks, were they? Well, at least in the part of Decatur where my family lives. So uh, in aid of them not being able to celebrate a proper 4th of July with fireworks because it's so dry, they thought that it might cause fires, we're celebrating an entire month here at the Sweet Beat. So that means we've got some really special recipes for you, but it also means that we've got some great deals and discounts going on throughout the month as well. So stay tuned. Now, down to the real part of this video. I thought we'd kind of go back to the beginning a little bit. A little bit of, you know, where was I before this? I guess what I really want to get across to you is before the sweet beat, I was pretty lost. It's uh, it's that mental health thing that we don't really like to talk about, right? So from about the age of 14, I really, really struggled. Um, I struggled with depression. I struggled with anxiety. And I tried to self-medicate myself through that process. Um, I've ended up in and out of um, mental hospitals. I, uh, I first attempted suicide when I was only 14 and there were many more attempts after that until I was probably about 24 or so. It was tough. Um, I'm quite a headstrong person but I'm also quite creative and I have a lot of empathy. Um, I can by, be a bit naive in a way because of the fact that I want to really believe the good in people. I want to believe that we all just really are aiming for the same things, which is purpose, validation, love, and, 
and that, you know, the majority of us would like to see everyone else be successful. And unfortunately, that's just not really the way of the world, especially within business. And that's extremely disappointing to me. Um, but at the same time, it's something that I'm starting to learn to accept as I grow older. Now, my biggest fear has always been that I wouldn't find my niche, that I wouldn't find that little place that gave me a reason to wake up every morning, that I would never find something that I was passionate about enough to move past that feeling of dread when I woke up. And for people that do struggle with depression, I guess the best way that I can describe it is that you just, have you ever been through a bad breakup? Yeah, we've all been through a bad breakup, whether it was our first love or maybe it was a divorce or I don't know, something like that, right? You've fallen in love with somebody and you go through a bad breakup and it's not really what you want. Maybe it wasn't your decision. Maybe it was the other person's. Anyway, that feeling when you wake up in the morning and you're still kind of half asleep, half awake, and you're fine until it hits you that you've gone through this breakup, you're no longer with this person anymore, and you go through it all over again. It's like you've just been told all over again that that person doesn't want to live the rest of their life with you. And you go through that pain and, and you kind of have that, I mean, the way that I describe it is literally your heart has just fallen all the way through past all of your intestines and your insides and your stomach and through your womb, I'm a lady, and out through your vagina, I'm a lady. And you just, it is just that sinking feeling, right? Now... Imagine having that, but you've got absolutely no reason to feel like that. The only reason that you feel like that basically is because you've woken up and you're still alive. <laughs> I mean, that that's it, really. You, you wake up, you're kind of okay and comfortable and still kind of groggy and sleepy, and then you realize that you're still on this earth. And you get that sinking feeling of fucking hell. How am I supposed to go through another goddamn day? How am I supposed to do it? Why do I do it? What's the point? I'm just going to end up going back asleep tonight and waking up tomorrow and feeling the exact same disappointment and devastation because of the fact that I am still alive and on this earth. And that's what I went through for years and years. Not to mention the fact that I was also abusing drugs and trying to self-medicate. I was hanging out with the wrong people. I mean, I was doing stuff I wasn't supposed to do. And how do you find purpose in that either? So I was I was searching in all the wrong places. Not to mention the fact that I'm very much, you know, when it comes to living in the moment, I am pretty damn good at that. When it comes to taking opportunities and, you know, getting that initial momentum and build of excitement, you know, I've got that. I know how to live that. You ask me, Lizzie, what do you want to do in five years? And this is where I really struggle. Because you're asking me to commit to something. To commit to a dream, even, is weird. Because isn't half the fun in life the fact that you don't really know what's around the corner? That you can change direction, pivot, evolve, move forward, grow at any second? Isn't that why we all love games like football? Which, by the way, come on, England. Um... Because it can change in a second. Because you just, you know, you know a general direction. And, I, you know, I do have a general direction. I know, for the most part, where I want to be. I know what I'm passionate about. I know what makes me happy. I know why I want to keep moving forward. 
But at the same time, I love, I just absolutely love the fact that, you know, I could get a call today from somebody saying, Lizzie, we have this really awesome opportunity. We want you to do this and we want, you know, and you just, you grab it, don't you? Anyway, I didn't want to make this too long because there's much more to come. But this kind of sets the scene for the next few videos that I'm going to be doing. That, you know, I was a bit of a shit. I, um, I struggled. Um, and not only that, I struggled with an eating disorder, which to end up in food, you know? Um, I wasn't a good person. I was a bad person wanting to be good so so bad but not knowing how and also feeling so guilty about the things that I had done and the person that I was becoming that how do you is there is there an opportunity to be good again can you ever move past that and become something else think about that food for thought and I'm sure I'll have more for y'all later.